Okay, good morning Year 7s. Welcome to your first video introduction on spreadsheets. The reason we're doing it as a recorded video is for those of you that can't get to the lesson uh, on the webcam uh, for Zoom, it's a lot easier to pre-record so you can do this at your leisure. Okay, so today we're going to look at spreadsheets. This is an introduction lesson. Okay, so first off, we're going to have a look at our objectives today. So, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand the following uh, from a spreadsheet. You should be able to merge cells, fill colors in cells, change the font size and color, change the cell width. We're going to be doing some basic formulas using these symbols, the plus, minus, divide and multiplication and we're also going to look at the formula function equals sum okay so now you're ready we're going to make sure that you have Microsoft Excel installed so for that if you open up your list you should see uh, Excel here in your list if you have it already installed now you click that and we're going to open it up let's put it on a full screen okay so we're going to start off with a blank workbook Okay, very important that we start saving it as soon as we open it. So we're going to give this a name. We're going to go to File, Save As. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And I'm going to call it Lesson 1 Spreadsheets. And follow with your name. I'm going to put my name here, but make sure you have your name at the end. And then click on Save. Okay. Now, for some of you, the initial page is quite, uh, the cells are quite small. So what you can do is zoom in like so and zoom out okay if it's not working it's probably because you've already entered a cell okay if you can see the flashing cursor and you can see it's no longer available so if you can't see the zoom in or zoom out just hit your enter key and you can zoom in and zoom out okay now just to show you how spreadsheets work I'm going to give you a quick overview before we start today's lesson. Okay, so formulas always begin with an equal sign. We can take a number here, 82, and another number here, 23. And if we want to add them together and plot the total in this cell, we always use a cell reference. Now the cell reference for 82 is D3. I'm going to add that using the plus symbol to G5. Okay, when I hit enter, it will give me the total. Now, if we were to change 82 and change that to 80, if you have a look at the 105, when I hit enter, it will change like so. So it changes as you change the numbers in here, 45. Okay, for example. Now, today we're going to build a spreadsheet using these principles. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is we're going to learn how to merge and center. And we're going to merge and center the first five cells. One, oh, we're going to go to A1. One, two, three, four, five. So hold down the mouse, click and drag like so. Once you've done that, you will see a button up the top called merge and center. Okay, now we have uh, a cell where we can type in. And if you can see, it's combined all the five cells together. And we're going to give this a title. Excel, beginner course, lesson one. And then we're going to put uh, in enter. Okay, now we've got our title here. We're going to change the font size a bit. Let's increase the size to spread it across uh, to, let's go for 16, uh, 14, sorry. Okay, 14. Okay, and then next what we're going to do is we're going to fill this cell. If you look at the paint bucket, we're going to fill this cell in a very dark green color. Now, do you notice that it's not very easy to see with the contrast? So what we're going to do is change the font color to a lighter green or even white to make it stand out even more. Okay, once you've got to this stage, we're then going to merge the next row together and we're going to put a title in here and just call it addition. Oh. 
Okay, and in here you just type in the numbers that I put in here. So we're going to put in there 23, hit enter on the keyboard once you type in your numbers. 65781, enter. Then we're going to put the plus button. Okay, these buttons are on the right hand side of your keyboard. If you can see the very right hand side, you see numlock with the divide, the times, minus, and the plus. It's a lot easier you to get from that side. Okay, and then we're going to put in the more numbers. 18, enter. 22, 821. Okay, and we're going to put equals, equals. Okay, just hit enter after each part there. Okay, now again, on the formatting, we're going to uh, put everything in the center for today. Now here we have the alignment. If I click on the left, everything will snap to the left. The center, everything will be sent centered. Okay, so we're going to highlight, click on the center, and you can see everything is now in the middle of the cell. Okay, so looking back at the, the formulas, we always begin a formula of an equal sign. So we're going to put an equal sign in here. We're going to type in the cell reference here, which is A3. And we're going to add that to this cell reference, which is C3. When you hit enter on the keyboard, you will see it's calculated the cells like so. Now, you're going to go ahead and do the same for the, uh, the two below. Okay. And next, we're going to add here a total. Once you finish with the total, we're going to use uh, another formula function that might be new for you. It's called equal sum. Now, when we use equal sum, we open up a bracket and we always type in the first reference uh, of the list. So, for example, the first reference here is E3. Okay, and then we follow that of a colon and we put a number at the bottom of the list, which is going to be E5. So, we put in there E5. And you can see it selects everything there. Hit enter and it'll add the totals. Now if we go ahead and finish these off, equals A4 plus C4, hit enter. Can you see the total changes as is taking into consideration these three? Okay, and the next one we're going to go to equals A5 plus C5. Okay, like so. And now we have our total. Okay, we can just click center to put that in the center. Okay, next we can look at subtraction. Again, highlight these, click on merge and center, and type in the following numbers and the following symbols. Okay, you can use copy and paste for the equals. Okay, numbers 28, 18, 239. Now, the subtraction is exactly the same. We're going to go to equals, cell reference, 82, minus the next cell reference, which is C8. Okay, and then we're going to have, again, our total. And do you remember what we put in here? Equals, you got it, equals sum. We put in the first cell reference, which is E8, followed by a colon, and then the last cell reference, E10. Okay, I'll go into more detail on that at the end and show you why we do it this way. Next, we're going to add multiplication. So, multiplication. And then we're going to do the numbers here, 3, 8, 3, 8, 5, and then the symbol, which is the times. This is the time symbol that we use in spreadsheets, 5, 2, 2, 3, 8. Again, equals. Now, again, for this formula, we go to equals A13 times C13. And for the next one, you are going to do the next two as well, and when you submit it to me, so I can mark your work. Okay, next you're going to have a total down here, like so, and you got it, it's going to be equals sum. Again, the first cell reference, E13, followed by a colon, 
and the next cell reference which is E15 close the brackets hit enter now the last one we're going to look at today is the divide we're going to do exactly the same 82 276 a slightly larger number here okay for the divide uh, because it's actually a shortcut as well uh, you might have problems typing in the the slash so uh, if you put in a spacebar divide it should let you add it no problem at all spacebar hit the spacebar first then hit the divide and hit enter okay next we're going to have 2 12 2 3 8 1 and again our uh, equals okay now I'm going to show you the first one again equals the first cell reference which is A18 and we use the divide and we can divide that by C18 okay and again you're going to do these other two at home and submit it to me through Google Classroom and we're going to write in the total like so equals sum okay now we're going to have what's uh, called a grand total. Uh, right at the very bottom, we're going to add all of them up. So what we're going to do is highlight the first four, merge and center, grand total. Okay, and then we're going to move this to the right aligned, so it's next to this cell here. And we're going to finish off our formatting. Now what we're going to do is to look at uh, how to just add some simple borders to do this we're going to highlight the whole table borders click on all borders and you can see it adds a line to all the borders now we want these uh, subtitles to show up so we're going to add a slightly larger uh, green color uh, sorry lighter green color like so okay and then the totals we can add these in a slightly gray color just to make sure we know how to fill the colors okay and grand total we'll probably put that in let's go for a black color with white text okay now so so we need to add these totals together for our grand total do you think you know how to do that we start off with the equal sign we then find this cell reference, which is E6. E6, we go to plus. This is now E11, E11, plus E16, plus E21. Okay, we hit enter, and it gives us a grand total like so. Now, just to show you how the equal sum works, just to give you clarification on that, uh, I'm going to put in some random numbers here. Okay, so let's take this down. And okay, values. Okay, now if we want to add this all together, I'll show you first the wrong way of adding this up. So the wrong way, a lot of people will go to this and say, okay, I know how to do formulas. We're going to go to H2, then we're going to add H3 add h4, add h5, add h6. You can see it's going to take quite a while uh, to do a list like this. Some lists have got uh, thousands of calculations in. So this doesn't really work for our list. So for this instance, we always use equals sum. We open our bracket and then we can highlight or we can put in the first cell reference, which is h2, and then the last cell reference, which is h20. 21 sorry okay and you can see everything's highlighted if we were to type in for example h12 it would only take this lot and add them up hit enter and you have the formula in here now if I was to change this to 109 watch this number down here it will also change so you can change these numbers as well now for your homework today what I want you to do is to create this uh, spreadsheet uh, save it, finish off these that I've left blank. I want you to finish these and fill these in. Okay, and then you're going to submit it through your Google Classroom. Okay, that's the lesson for today. Thank you very much, and I look forward to receiving your work.